Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shai, Kahla Yamla Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakah Hakwadash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Barakah Hakwadash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, only way we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's the brother Mathathia from the Great Millstone Camp, the branch on Des Moines. And um, we just gonna play this little clip right here and get right into it, right? Uh, here stateside, many Americans don't even have an ID card, much less a passport. And this is a hot topic of debate for voter ID laws here in the US. I don't know how the statistics look in the UK, but how does one square all of this given the data? If we can't get regular IDs to the population, what makes them think they can accomplish this sort of smart chip in passports and other IDs for everybody? Well, don't mention the word chip because that'll be the next thing. They'll be wanting to chip people uh, instead of forcing them to carry an ID around. Just wave a, a, a wand at them and check. No, oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's play. Let's play a little they clip again. Chip. They'll be wanting to chip people uh, instead of forcing them to carry an ID around. <laughs> you see? And who's been telling you this, man? Who's been telling you this? You see? He says they're going to uh, they're going to want to force people to take what? That MOB instead of having them. Uh, 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 have IDs, man, because that's going to be your new ID. You see, it's going to be right there within your hand, right? It's Revelation 13, 16, and we're going to continually keep hitting, uh, 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 hitting you people over the head with this, man. You see, it's Revelation 13, 16, and he calls it all, <laughs> both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, just like how everybody has to have an ID, right? Everybody has a social security number. Everybody has a birth certificate, right? It's going to be the same thing, man. And in, 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 in um, this uh, 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 so-called pandemic, plandemic, right? As brothers been calling it, you know, it's just a prelude to all this, man. Because here it is, uh, 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 um, this 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 this, this so-called uh, uh, um, uh, virus that's going around, right? You know, whether it is, whether it ain't, that's neither here or there. You know, but it's being used, it's being blown, it's being used to push forth their agenda, man. Because here it is, the uh, 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 the mortality rate for uh, 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 for this virus is going around is less than that of the common uh, uh, flu, man. But yet they're not forcing people to receive the, uh, um, the jab for the flu. But yet they are forced you to receive the jab for this that's going on now in this time. You see, it's just a prelude. The Revelation 13, 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. You see? And didn't did, <laughs> didn't do say with the wave, with the wave of a wand, with the wave of your hand, right? Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell, so you can't function within society, except he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name, which is all saying the same thing, man. So in order to function within this society, you have to be down with what they about to roll out, man. You see? And this is what we're warning our people about, man. You know? As the scripture has said, right? Let's get this. This is the book of Acts. 20. And 26. It says, wherefore I take you to record this day. That I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the heavenly father, man. And that's what we here at Great Millstone start with our apostles and elders. This is what we're here to do, man, to declare unto you all the counsel of the Lord. You see, if we had not spoken unto you people, right? Let's get that. This is the book of St. John. 15 and 22 let's see let's start at 20 it says remember the word that i said unto you the servant is not greater than his lord if they have persecuted me they will also persecute you if they have kept my sayings they will keep yours also but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake because they know not him that sent me if i had not come 
and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin, man. So you've, you, so you've been warned. You've been told what's coming down, man. You've been told what the MOB is. You've been told not to take the jab. You've been told how to move, the right way to walk. You see? So if you continue to move opposite of that, you have, hey, 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 that's what it is, man. Now, uh, um, uh, 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 your, your, your sins is on your own head, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know? Because Yahweh Shah said, I, I don't accuse you. Moses accused you, meaning this own this this word itself accuses you, man. As it is written in the book of Second Edges, the 16th chapter, it says, Your own sins shall be your accusers in that day, man. You see, because you people refuse to hawk and instead, while, while while this is going on, this is what's happening with other Israelite groups, man. <laughs> Calling all designers, sign up for the fashion show now. If you would like to sign up for the Passover fashion show, email fashion show at Israel Unite dot org. With the following information, your Hebrew and government name, brand name, Lord's name, if married, camp location, phone number, deadline, March 7th. So this is what's taking place with these other groups, man. You see. While judgment is going on throughout the earth, man, as it is written, let's grab this. This is the book of uh, Zephaniah. Chapter 3 and 5. It says, The just Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah is in the midst of, he will not do iniquity. Every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. You see? Every morning the Lord brings his judgment to light, man. Look at what's happening all throughout the earth, man. Look at here just in America alone. You know, what's going on down in Texas, man. You see? And it's just the beginning of sorrows and things are going to ramp up even more. That's why it tells us, right? That's why the scripture tells us in the book of Ecclesiastes 7. It's the book of Ecclesiastes 7. And two, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Do it look like, do it look like this is the house of mourning right here? Huh? Is that the house of mourning? Right? It says, for uh, uh, for that is the end of all men and the living will lay it to his heart, man. Meaning what? You're quickened through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, right? Dead to this world, but alive in Yahweh Shai, as Paul wrote in Romans, the sixth chapter, verse three, sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the continents, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth, man. And that's exactly what these other groups push. You see? Because the Passover is not no joke, man. You know? Us, uh, you know, the brothers that been in it for a while, that, that you know, that been to Passovers and understood, understand the uh, uh, solemnity of it, man. You know? But shit, we, we, we have um, new brothers and new sisters waking up continually to the truth, man. Right? And they need to understand the, uh, the seriousness of the Passover, man. Yahweh Shah didn't have no 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 uh a uh, uh, fashion a uh, uh, show at his Passover man, and a lot of people like to go back and and show Josiah's Passover and and they like to go back into you know uh, uh, the um, our forefathers Passovers during the uh, uh you know during the time when we were in rulership during the time when we were governed by ourselves. Look man, we're under captivity man. In Re Revelation the eleven chapter it says what. It says that we would be here in, in, in a place spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, meaning we would be here in bondage. Now, the first Passover took place in Egypt. What was happening, man? People was being slaughtered. It was plagues going on, man. All the Egyptians, all they firstborn of their children and their cattle uh, died that night. You see? That was great. That was, man, man, man. wasn't no fashion show man and the same thing as our lord's uh, uh, uh passover this is first uh corinthians 11 and uh 25 24 
It says, when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. So the Passover represents our Lord in this day and age, man. You see, just like the first Passover, we had to uh, uh, slay the lamb and we had to put the, uh, 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 the lamb's blood on our doorpost. Well, spiritually today, our Lord and Savior was that Passover lamb, man. Let's get that. This is the book of John 1. And um, might be further up. I'm sorry. This is the book of St. John 1 and... Twenty nine says the next day, John see at the hour shot coming unto him and says, behold, the lamb of the most high, which taketh away the sin of the world. You see, so your was that that uh, that sacrificial lamb man. and through his blood, what the destroyer is going to pass over us. You see, our sins are forgiven through his blood. So that's the seriousness of partaking within the Passover, you know, not having. <laughs> They're not having a fashion show, right? Or like a couple years back, man, it was another group that was advertising during the Passover telling women to come get your husband. You see? So you think so you think these camps really have a mind towards our Lord Yahweh Shai, man? Knowing that he was crucified on that day? Right? Let's go back. First Corinthians. 11 and 24 and when he had given thanks and break it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me you see so when we partake in the passover right it's in remembrance of our lord's sacrifice that's a solemn day right there man so we should reflect on ourselves that Yahweh Shah, our Lord, died for our sins and he suffered a gruesome death for us, man. That's the house of mourning. You see, having that contrite and broken spirit, man. That's what the Lord is looking for. He's not looking for you to party on that day, man. He's not looking for you to have a jolly good time in a fashion show and to come get your husband. He's no, man. That's not the mindset to be in on that day. Right. And once again, this ain't toward, you know, uh, nobody of the IU. Look, this ain't even toward them, man. This is toward the new uh, 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 brothers and sisters who are waking up that need to understand the importance of the Passover. They need to understand the importance of this truth as a whole, man. You coming back learning you are Israelite, right? Repenting. Changing your ways is for you to be delivered from the calamities and, 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 and the plagues that's about to come upon this earth, man. You see? It's not to be the greatest fashion designer here in America. Verse 26. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. You understand that? Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. So it's a very dangerous thing, man, to have this mindset. To have this mindset doing our, our, our Lord's Passover, man. That's very dangerous, man. He that hath an ear, let him hear, man. <laughs> you know? Very dangerous, right? Verse 28. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup, man. So we have to be in a right mindset within this within this walk of ours, right? Because judgment is about to come upon the house of Israel. Let's get the the book of Ezekiel, the twenty first chapter. This is Ezekiel twenty one and nine. It says, "Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai: Say, a sword is sharpened, right? A sword, a sword is sharpened." And it's also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Going back to that Ecclesiastes that we read, right? 
It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. That word contemn means despise. The rod represents power. So just like how an axe cuts down a tree and that tree has no power against that axe, right? Well, it's the same thing if you're not covered with the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. If you're in the spirit of mirth, this sword is going to come and you are not going to have any power over that sword. You see? Verse 11. And he hath furbished it, in Salaki, and he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer, man. And who is that? That's Esau Edom. He's the sword of the Lord, according to Psalms, the 17th chapter, man. Matter of fact, let's grab that real quick. This is the book of Psalms. 17. At 13, it says, Arise, O Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shah, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And according to Malachi, the first chapter, that wicked is Esau, Edom, right? So let's go back. Ezekiel 21, verse 12, it says, cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite, therefore, upon thy thigh. So judgment is coming, man. You see? And that's what we should be warning our people. Let's get it, uh, Ezekiel, the 13th chapter. This is Ezekiel 13 and 1. And the word of Yahweh Basham Yahushai came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, right? And say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, hear ye the word of the Lord. So the Lord is telling Ezekiel, go and talk to these false prophets and tell them that judgment is coming on you for speaking things that the Lord didn't tell you to speak. Verse 3, thus saith the Lord power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert, means slick, sly, and crafty, man. Right? Verse 5. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. So that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. We're supposed to be preparing our people to stand in that battle. We're supposed to be girding, uh, or, 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 or giving our people the armor. And what's the armor? It's the faith. Right? The faith in, 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 in Yahweh Shai, the proper way to walk, the proper way to conduct yourselves, because that's how we will be uh, uh, protected in the times to come. As is written in Psalms, the 91st chapter, he that is hidden in the secret place of the Lord. Uh, matter of fact, let's get it. This is Psalms 91. You know, if the spirit don't give me anything else, I'm going to close out. This is uh, the book of Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, right? A fowler is one that catches birds, a snare is a trap. So here it is Esau Edom has traps and, and, and snares all out here for our people, man. And guess what? He pays a, 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 um, a, a so called. Uh, prominent leaders of our people to ensnare you into his traps, man. Right? You got to be aware of that also. It says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. You see? Which that's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. You know? Going back to what, man? A, a, a being protected by this word. Like Paul said, I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Lord, you know, therefore I am free from the blood of all men. So you've been warned. You've been told. Now you have no cloak. You see. So hey, hey, you do well to take heed, man. You know. These scriptures say what it says and it mean what it means. So the Passover is a, is a solemn day. It's a heavy day. It's a mournful day, man. We should be in a mournful spirit. Not having a uh, 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 um, uh, 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 match dot coms and 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 and, and fashion overs, you know. But Lord willing, I pray this was edifying to Wadi Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Baruch Hakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity, and you few sisters that may be listening as well. Shalom.